Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So, as you can tell by the title, something is wrong. I'm not sure what it is yet, but it's probably either the drive shaft, the axles, or like a bad motor mount or some, some booze. You know what I'm saying? But we're about to head up to city alignment and see what exactly is wrong. If it is the drive shaft, then we are going to go ahead and throw on this aluminum drive shaft that I have been had sitting for, I don't know how many months. There is a little play in one of the CV joints. So it makes like a little, the best way I could describe it is when you put it in to drive, it'll have like a little, that's exactly the noise. It'll be like a little ting sound, but we'll we'll just go ahead and throw this in. If my drive shaft is bad, I kind of think that my drive shaft is is done. It's bent or something because we were on the freeway four deep. You know, me, Rob, Juan, and Kez, and there was a crazy, crazy vibration going on when you're going freeway speeds. You know, but you're in a high gear, so eighth gear in this car specifically. <clears throat> When you let off when you let off the gas it's smooth as butter like no vibration no wobble nothing but as soon as you start to get on the gas and it's at low rpms there's a stupid crazy vibration like it's it's pretty significant so i'm guessing something is bad <laughs> somewhere something in the drive the drive line is messed up so we're going up to city line at concord right now and figure out what that is but first Let's load up this uh, aluminum drive shaft and then throw it in the drift kit. but I don't want to say it because I've had so many problems with the axles, but I've never felt this vibration before. So we'll see, we'll see. Back again, city fucking alignment. God damn it, so tired of this place. <laughs> but I love them because they fix my car every time. So that's what would cause a vibration. Yeah. yeah. Don't seem like it's wiggling at all. It's a bit kind of crazy on both sides. I never noticed that. You don't have the remember the small boot? It was covering it. Oh, Is it in there? It's just yeah. ripped. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ripped. G-Force axles, once again. How's the drive shaft though? Is the drive shaft fine? Oh, uh, now we gotta check it right now. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> Fucking drive shaft. Uh, uh, As you can see, axle grease everywhere. I've replaced these same G-Force axles like at least five 
five different times. A vibration? Which one? That rubbing? Oh, no, no, no. That's great up because it's like. Oh, oh, that makes back sense. Back is lifted and the tires don't That makes sense. Pressure. I'm over here tripping off it and shit. Jeez. We gonna, uh... I want to say I almost notice it more with uh, more people in the car. So, so with more weight in the car, more vibration. This is like the like, whole car? Yeah, or it really feels like it's in the rear or in like the middle of the car. That's why I think it's either the axles doing it or the drive shaft. You said what? Have I tried new tires? No, Nah, because the, vib the vibration only happens when I'm on the gas at low RPMs on the freeway. It doesn't happen any other time. Any other time is just smooth as hell. A little hot. Mm. I just drove it from my house here. Mm. Ready? No, no play, really. Ready? Ready? No play. No. Could it be bent or twisted? Making that like, vibration. A bit of play? Yeah. So should we just throw that aluminum one in? I mean, what, what is the other one doing? It just made a little team noise. Oh, yeah. When you shift. Yeah, I might as well. I mean, it's, it's a lot less annoying than the vibration, if that's what it is. Yeah. But it looks like I'm going to have to talk to G-Force again uh -huh. and see what's up with some new axles. The new drive shaft in. So I was looking here trying to see where this color is coming from. It's just coming from right here. Get that in front of you. Oil pan gasket or something. Boot is already torn. Damn it. This is the old drive shaft, obviously. You can tell. <laughs> it was not too happy. So, good thing we got that one in there. It's almost in. Button it back up. So. New drive shaft is in. I'm gonna have to come back maybe tomorrow or something, get that oil pan gasket fixed. And then the outer tie rod needs to be replaced again, as well as the rear axle. So there's a lot of shit to get done on this car. But for now, hopefully that vibration is taken care of. We'll see. But anyway, now it's time to go do a podcast with B1 more. It's been highly, highly suggested. You guys have been asking for it, so we're gonna get it done. Now you're in the whip. All Thanks, right, my man. guy. Um, that oil pan gasket. Then they need to do that ASAP. Maybe tomorrow. All right, in and out. Make sure you guys go follow City Alignment Concord on Instagram. And the lightning's not here right now, but we will be doing. Um, let's just say a waffle on the Ford Lightning. So I think it's gonna be 300 tickets, $100 a piece. So that's that's pretty good odds. Driving this thing out of here, it feels, it feels good. We'll have to uh, hop on the freeway and see what's really going on, see if this vibration has been fixed. But so far it's cool, it's chilling. We're in here waiting, V1 more, she's on the way. Y'all ready? No. Slightly. Scared? A little bit. 
Shaking. Shaking in my boots. All right, just did the V1 More podcast. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the Hello Podcast channel to go check that out. Should be out on Friday, so make sure you make sure you go subscribe, like, comment, and share. Huh? Yeah. Make sure you guys go check that out.